Good evening. I wrap state and here we are with your metal market wrap up and this wrap up is for Thursday the 24th of October 2024 6:30 p.m. Central Time. Well, you know, the metal markets are now churning. They have found the level. Obviously, the $35 an ounce level in the silver is temporarily too high. The market has pulled back into the 3370s and found a home there. The gold market uh, is holding near its highs. It's staying here in the tw just over the 2740 uh, level, and it's uh, acting pretty good. The dollar was down today, and most currencies gained a minor amount against it. The most, the one that had the best gain was probably the euro, is one of them, uh, and, and that's because 50 per 57 percent of the dollar index is weighed with that. But now the question is, can it stay up there? And that becomes the biggest problem. In the Canadian dollar, you got to keep your eye on what that market is doing here. Uh, there's a movement to try to get Justin Trudeau out of office. We'll see if that works one way or the other, but you should be reading about that. Energy prices, you're coming back down from the 71 to the 70 level in crude. They're trying again to make something happen in Israel with a shortened type of uh, program, maybe a few hostages for a couple of days of ceasefire in Gaza. We'll see if anything works. So far, nothing has worked that the groups that have been trying to get it to work will do, and that's because Hamas isn't going to give in, and Israel won't give in. It's pretty simple, all right? Israel thinks they're on the right path, and uh, they will starve them out, and we've seen that in medieval times, and it probably can work. When you look at the advanced durable goods data, that'll come out tomorrow morning at 7.30. University of Michigan, the final October consumer sentiment indices comes out at nine o'clock. They're looking for those to come out, and these are the final, these aren't the prelims, so remember that. They're looking for them at about 69, that compares to the 68.9. You're due tomorrow to get the cattle on feed report. The market's been just going sideways. It rallied, it's holding the rally, and now the question is, Will these reports make it move? The marketing's look pretty big up compared to the previous report. Placements down, doesn't look to me if those numbers come in that that's overly bearish one way or the other. Now, you know, you're at that point where now we're what? A week and a half away? Just shy of that from the presidential election. You're hearing all the stories, what the markets may and may not have. And of course, as we get towards the end of the month, not there yet, we're going to start hearing more about inflation numbers, labor. You want to pay attention to all that. When we look at the gold market, you can see that if the market finished right here, it's an all-time high close on a weekly basis. So as I said, the market's acting pretty darn good. When you come over to the chart here, you had this big reversal day two days ago. The question is, can the market get through that, or was that a pause in the, uh, in the momentum? Generally speaking, that type of formation is a pause. You get higher lows higher highs, you're still in the bull camp. The market is at this point staying over the 18-day average of closes. Support would come in, I think, if it went down there at the 2693 level. The resistance is pretty crystal clear. It's the upper Bollinger Band and the momentum. This is what you gotta keep your eye on now. You cannot count today because today we don't know where it'll finish, but we can certainly go to Thursday. Both numbers were over 80. Both numbers were over 80, and the day before, you have what's called the embedded reading, which means on this pullback until the red line closes underneath 79, I say that the trade is buying the market, looking to attack the Bollinger Band again, and that could be $30, $40 from this area, so it's something to watch. The gold-silver ratio spiked down to a new low just the other day at uh, just around the 79 level, climbing a little back as it may be it got a little bit overdone. Silver, unlike gold, is not embedded. Silver got overbought and it's correcting. It can afford to fall even more, so this could be where silver loses a little bit to the gold market. 
The copper market is void of what's going on in the U.S. It needs China to do something on the bigger side. Now, the door is open for China anywhere between now is their committee start meeting, and it's often the end of October, beginning of November, when their financial planning committees get together and try to release things. The problem we don't know is they may be satisfied with what they have. And if they are and you're counting for them to do something else, got a problem. So far, the market is saying don't get involved. You have a higher high, lower low. That is not a trend. The market stuck at the 100-day average, been there. It has a bearish embedded reading. No, it's got a reading at 21. It's been oversold. I don't know what to do with it. Platinum's got dragged along with the gold market, not the silver, all the way up here, but it's overbought. It's not embedded yet. I'd be very cautious of that. And in the dollar, nice that it's getting a little correction. It's got an embedded rating, and you got your first crossover. The 18-day went over the 100, and it's now going to attack in the next few days the 200. It's just not far away from it, 103.08 to 102.87, could be tomorrow. So you're very close to where that happens. But what this tells you is on a hard break, this is all a support zone. Getting through that and just saying, ah, you got back under it in one, two, three, very rare that would happen. So you'd want to be friendly there. But you keep seeing me talking about the Bollinger Band. They're so important. The embedded reading with it, so important. Do you know how to do it? We have a course on it. You will master it in one day. Then you'll start applying it, and that is the difference. Mastering the course and applying it in the market is different. So we include that you get access to my morning videos with the course. The charting software you see here is included with it. You'll, need, you'll get this done on a Saturday. If you put in two hours, you're going to understand the concept. Now, applying it's going to take you a while. Applying it, understanding what you're applying, the course is there to help you, but you will figure that out with me. And if you stay with it, then you start mastering what it is. How do you get this? Well, watch this right now. It'll lead you right into that. Welcome. I'm Ira Epstein, and I'm here to talk about my enhanced Bollinger Band course. Now, many of you have taken my regular charting course, and if not, you might think you know something about Bollinger Bands. As you know, Bollinger Bands are an algorithm designed to keep the market trading within it 95% of the time. And on a chart, it will offer on the top part resistance, on the bottom support, and the idea is the market will travel within them. We know that sometimes it latches onto that band, goes up or goes down. Well, how do you play with that? Can you pyramid the positions off that type of thinking? Well, I've applied all three of these into 13 different videos that teach you my concept of it. And from that concept, you're able to work with weekly charts and or daily charts. The 13 videos, each about seven minutes long. The idea here is not to put you in school forever, but to teach. Now, if you haven't tried my complete futures research, I throw that in as well. Whether you've tried this or not, I think it's worth taking a look at. I think you're going to learn something from there. That research, by the way, covers twice daily market updates for you and access to what I call window envelope numbers, which I think are very important when looking at these Bollinger Bands. The next part is a trial to our charting software, so you can make your charts look the same way that mine do. It's that simple. Where do you go with it and how do you get all this? It's simple. You go to our website, www.iraepstein.com. If you go to the word education, everything you need is answered there. You can also call my staff. They'll be happy to help you get set up. I'm Ira Epstein on the road to your education.